Hey guys, about three years or so ago, I put out a video on the Streamlight Waypoint 300. It's a really, really nice spotlight and with a thousand lumens and over a thousand meters of beam distance, this little guy is an absolute beast. Well, I found out that Streamlight has basically just come out with an updated model or version of this and they are calling it the Waypoint 400 and as you can see the boxes are almost identical this, this one is 1400 versus the old one that was a thousand and this one has a beam distance of 1265 meters versus that 1039 um, there's a few other differences but i'll kind of go over all those and kind of let you know like if you if you already have the 300 is it worth buying and upgrading to the 400? So we'll do an unboxing of the new 400. Um, we'll go over all the features and specifications, get the thing charged up and then actually go out and use it. So as you can see, uh, the Waypoint 300, that was like in a solid white, like block lettering. The 400 is kind of just like white outlined. So that does look a little bit different, but other than that, they look identical. Just showing the sides of the boxes, 400s on top, 300s down here. Basically, they're almost identical on everything, but the Candela on the 400 is 400,000 versus 270,000 on the 300. Um, and then, like I said, that beam distance is a little bit more, but everything else does look exactly the same. IPX8 to two meters, same length, same weight. I did want to quickly show you around like the rest of the box. And as you can see, the 300, the item number was 44911. The 400 is 44911. And if you look at the UPC, uh, you know, we got 449114. They're, they're, all the numbers are exactly the same. 449114. The back of the boxes was almost identical. The 400 does not have that little graph right there. But other than that, they look identical. Um, this is something to show you guys though. So the 300, the old model, was a thousand lumens at its brightest, but that would last for three hours and 45 minutes. Well, they've increased the output to 1400, but the time is actually decreased to three hours and 15 minutes. So you get a half hour less um, on that highest setting. And then when you get to the medium settings, it's 550 on the old, 600 on the new, but the times are the same, seven hours and 30 minutes. But then the lows, the old one was 35 lumens, the new one's 38. The old one would get 87 hours, but the new one they're saying only gets 84 hours. All right, let's do a real quick unboxing here. So you're presented with the light right away. And then I believe this is something you can mount to the wall. Uh, so we got the Waypoint 400 right here. And we have a wall adapter, wall charger. And a user's manual. That is everything in there. I will quickly mention this charging cradle before we get to the spotlight. Um, this does use a little bit like thinner, slightly cheaper plastic. Um, I don't know how many people actually use it. I've never used it on my 300. It's still sitting in the box, but, um, and then the other thing is they do not provide any type of mounting hardware. You don't have any wall anchors. You don't have any screws. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Give you guys some up close here of the actual spotlight itself. So starting up front, this is a rubber that's on here. This part is uh, definitely like a really thick, high impact rubber. Uh, that reflector is super, super deep. You can see the LED way down in there. The housing itself is some type of high impact polycarbonate. Um, they're not saying that that's unbreakable, uh, but it should withstand falls. 
uh, but the lens is supposedly unbreakable. It's got O-rings to seal it to obviously give it its waterproofness. Moving down toward the grip, it does have some thick kind of cushioned rubber on the handle here, but the middle is plastic, but rubber there, rubber there. And then the trigger area, um, that is plastic. And it's got some nubs right here. I wish those were rubber. Uh, those are plastic out there as well. Does come with the lanyard on there. And you can remove that obviously if you don't want it. There's really nothing going down either side other than some labeling and stuff. Up on top, uh, you can stand this upside down or you can hang it as well. And the stand up on top is ratcheting. And so you can basically put it in whatever position you want and then stand the light up if you need like area lighting on the back. We have another loop. Again, I, I think that you can actually set these up to where you could put like a shoulder harness or shoulder strap and wear that like cross body. Then over here we have our brightness selector. It's kind of hard to see, but there's only a little bit of that one filled in. There's like half of that one filled in and then this one's all the way filled in. So we basically have low, medium, high. I suppose it would have been nicer if that was some type of like color fill or if it actually said L M H or something like that, but it doesn't. Here is a charging indicator. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it blinks or if it's colored. We'll figure that out once we start charging. And then this is the charging port over here on this side. And to get that charging port open, you have to turn this thing like 90 degrees. And it's probably going to be real stiff here at first. And that's what the charging port looks like with that little cover off. So you just take your wall adapter, plug in there, and charge it up. I mentioned earlier that it was 6.75 inches long. Um, it's also right about 7 inches high. And at its widest part, it's about just over 3.5 inches and they said it weighs one and a half pounds. I got just over that. I got one pound, 9.6 ounces. And so even though it does weigh just over a pound and a half, when it's in your hand, it really does not feel like it weighs that at all. It's super, super balanced. Uh, and another thing is that it does float. If you were to drop this in water, uh, the thing will stay floating. All right, let's get it fully charged up. Um, we'll go over the modes uh, and then we'll head outside and see what it looks like. All right, that is red when charging. It'll turn green when it's fully charged. All right, we're all charged up. Let's uh, go over the modes here real quick. So I've got it in the low setting. Again, that's medium, that's high. If you want a momentary on, you literally just like partially push in on this and you can see that there. If you want it to stay on constantly, you just squeeze it until you hear the click and then you let off and then it's on constantly. Now you can let this back off if you want. And then if you want a different setting, you can you know, toggle through or let's say that you were on, you can just flip to one of the higher settings while it's on. And you can see that was a huge step up in power brightness. So that's the medium setting. And then if you want high, it's right there. And you can see that is blinding bright, even though it's only 1400 lumens, uh, the candela is what's so impressive about this. And that's honestly all there is to it. Um, again, to shut it back off, it's just a full, full click until you hear that click again. So it's there if you want it on constantly, then you just do the same thing to turn it back off. And then you just partially press to do the momentary. We'll let you guys know. It looks like there's like a, a small like black dot in the middle right there. Um, I'm only, I don't know, seven, eight inches away from my hand. Once you get to about three or four feet away, 
uh, that dot completely disappears. So when you're actually using it, you will not see that at all. All right, out here with the Waypoint 400. Again, not the darkest of nights. We're in June, so it really doesn't get dark in Ohio till like really like 11 o'clock midnight. Um, it's about 10.30 right now. Um, got it on the low setting. This tree is probably uh, about 40 to 50 yards away from the standing right now. So you can see it's a really nice spot, even on the low. I'm gonna go down this way. These trees are just over 100 yards away. And again, I can see that pretty well. I'm gonna switch to the medium setting here. And obviously that is a nice jump up. You can see that beam just absolutely penetrating down that way. All right, let's go up to the uh, high setting. Yeah, that is very impressive. Beyond that big wood pile down there, um, there are trees that's about 350 yards away or so, and I can clearly see them right now. Here's that tree that's only like 40 to 45 yards or so away. And again, I'm filming just with an iPhone. And so what I can see with my eyes is just so much brighter, even though this is already very impressive uh, with the naked eye, it's pretty insane how bright this thing is. I always like showing the same areas uh, that way there's consistency so you can compare to other lights but i'm going to do above this outside light just to show you how much this uh waypoint 400 breaks through that So hopefully seeing those nighttime shots were helpful for you. Um, again, it wasn't the darkest of nights and I was using an iPhone for the recording and this thing was still very, very impressive. The 400 is significantly brighter than the 300 and it's not necessarily because of the, the lumens. Um, it's more because of the candela. Um, this thing just absolutely throws and there's a good like amount of spill with it too. It wasn't like it was just a dot on a tree 300 yards away, but the throw was just crazy far on it. So one thing that some of you may not like is the fact that these batteries are not serviceable. They're not replaceable. Basically you can't get into them. And Streamlight does have a limited lifetime warranty basically on the majority of the light except the batteries. And if you read right here, the batteries have a two year warranty on them. So, I mean, that is what it is. And now I've had that 300 for over three years and never had a single issue with it whatsoever. So, I mean, I, I expect this to last for years and years and years, but just so you know, that's what it is. And my only other complaint with this entire spotlight here is this little charging port cover. It's kind of wonky. It's kind of hard to get in and out, it comes out easier uh, than what it goes back in. As you can see, you're trying to fit like this rectangle plug into these square notches. And then the area that you need to grip to turn it has this little rubber cord thing. So it, you know, it goes in here like this and then where you need to squeeze, you can't get your fingers on that either. And it's, it's really hard to get back in. It usually takes me a solid minute or two to put this thing back in. It's the same way on the other one. I just think it's a poor design. And then even when you get it back in there, uh, then you have this thing here just kind of hanging there. I just, I just don't care for that design. And if any of you are wondering, that's what the yellow one looks like. It's kind of almost like a tennis ball type yellow. And then also to let you guys know, they do sell like these 
filters. They have a red filter and a green filter that will go over the end of this. Um, and those are optional accessories that you can buy. So I think I've covered most of the specifications and features. Um, if you guys have any questions on this light, please leave it down below. Um, you know, if I already had the 300, I don't know if I would spring the money to buy the 400. If I didn't have either and I was looking between them, definitely get the 400. Um, it's just, it's just better in every way. Well, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.